Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another Streetwear Talk video. The series where we cover the latest streetwear releases and we cover the latest streetwear news and really just cover anything to do with streetwear. In today's video, I'm going to be covering all my thoughts and opinions on the lookbook for Palace Skateboards' Spring 2022 collection. But before I start talking about Palace's lookbook for their later season, I'm going to discuss something else. <laughs> I'm going to come in and say thank you guys for the constant support as just before, literally on the last day of the month, you guys came in and smashed out the subscriber milestone that I asked if we could hit, which was 3,250 subscribers. And I've just got to come out and say thank you guys the continuous support to the public and private subscribers. I wouldn't be hitting these milestones without you. Thank you so much for the support. Now, because we have reached a new milestone that has uh, increased by 25 since the last little indicator here, I've now got to update the little indicator. So goodbye 3,225. It was a good one. <laughs> Hello. 3,250 guys. So we'll update this one when we hit 3,275, when that day comes, but I'm not gonna set that as the next subscriber milestone. I'm gonna ask, can we hit 3,255? It is the last day of January. So, I mean, I have my doubts. I don't know if we can reach it before the end of January, but you guys always do come in and surprise me with these subscriber milestones. So thank you for the continuous support. And let's see if we can hit the new milestone of 3255, maybe even before the end of the month. Okay, let's get into it now, guys. So, Palace, what have they done? They have dropped the lookbook for their first season of 2022, which is their spring collection. And in today's video, we're going to cover all the release details to do with the first week of the spring 2022 collection. We're going to cover all the images that the lookbook has. I will give you my thoughts and opinions on the individual pieces, what I like about the lookbook, what I don't like about it, more specifically the pieces that I do and don't like. Let's get into it, guys. Let's head on over to the Palace page and start covering all the release details for the first week of the spring 2022 season. Okay, okay. Well, uh, we'll just quickly ignore the fact that the big bombshell piece is being showcased first here and then we'll cover just the week one details quickly and then we'll get into the uh, lookbook here. <laughs> so just block out the bottom part of the screen. I mean, I could block it with editing, but yeah, I don't know. Nah, I won't bother with that. You guys can see it. We'll discuss it in a second. There's no drama around that. But the week one drop details is located right here in the top right hand corner of the screen. What have we got? So, week one is going to be dropping on Friday, February 4th, UK in-store and online, 11am GMT time, EU, 12pm CET time online, US online only, 11am Eastern Standard Time or 8am Pacific Standard Time, we've got New York in-store at 11am Eastern, we've got LA in-store, 11am Pacific Standard Time. Then, of course, Japan and China, they get it a day later. They get it on the Saturday, February the 5th. Japan gets it in store and online, 11 a.m. Japanese Standard Time, while China only gets it on their WeChat store, as they don't have a physical location yet. Maybe in the future they will. That's all the release details for week one. Will we be covering the drop list? Of course we will, guys. Of course we will. As soon as I get those release details, either from Hypebeast or Max Merch, we'll make a video on it, so stay tuned for that. But that is all the details. If you have any further questions about the week one drop, drop it in that comment section below. But one thing I do have to say about the week one drop is they will most likely be including this bombshell of a piece first, as they always love to showcase the big hitting piece of the season first, and they usually drop it in the first week, which is the biggest week of the season. But let's get into it, guys. Let's dive into the lookbook for this spring 2022 season and see what we're gonna be getting. And well, as I mentioned, I could have covered it with editing, but I didn't think it was too much of a hassle. What we have to kick off the lookbook is a huge, 
heavy hitting piece which i love we have this light i would almost say bomber jacket there is a specific name for it i think some people call them aviation jackets there are a lot of different names going around for this piece but it is inspired by uh vintage military wear um i can't remember which specific decade it's from i don't know my military wear that well but it was worn by a lot of pilots back in the day it features a shirling collar and it features a full leather exterior i love this piece initially i was kind of thinking ah with palace and leather, it's always expensive. I could literally go on eBay and get a jacket minus the branding for a lot cheaper. It's a tough sell. You're probably gonna miss out on this piece because it's gonna release in week one and sell out straight away. Because like, I can't remember the last time that they did a jacket of this silhouette in a season. It's been a hot minute. And they've covered it in really fun looking graphics that looked very military inspired, especially with the font that they've decided to use on the text here near this uh, bomber duck graphic, which I love. I think it's so playful, it's so much fun. I love this piece. It's probably gonna be 400 to 500 pounds or something like that, something dumb. It is what it is. I would personally love to own this in an XL. It is just really nice in color. The graphics are fun, an awesome palace piece to own, but I doubt that I'll be able to pick that up. And it's just a lot of money as well. Moving into the next slide, we have uh, the what looks like Gore-Tex pieces being showcased to us, minus the puffer. We can see the Gore-Tex silver jacket here and the Gore-Tex silver pants. There will most likely be, other, well, I can say with a lot of confidence, there's probably going to be other colors of it as well. There'll probably be a black maybe a green when it releases we'll cover all the other colors that these pieces come in i doubt that this aviation bomber jacket here is going to get another color as it is quite a a, a big expensive piece to produce they wouldn't want to go too risky with the colors the gore-tex one's probably a little bit cheaper to produce they are always heavy hitting though all you palace fans out there love those jackets me i don't normally wear them too much but i don't have any issues with them a lot of people like gorp core and look like they climb up mountains but don't actually climb up mountains and you can go ahead and do it exactly that <laughs> next we have a very red puffer jacket i like that they chose red for one of the colors i like it when you know puffer jackets and things like that are done in exotic colors like this it's not too crazy it kind of looks like there's a grid pattern to it looking at the chest area here but it's kind of hard to tell from the lookbook we'll obviously get a better idea when we find out when it drops uh further into the season there but i'm sure a palace uh, puffer jacket like this is going to be incredibly popular and i know they're very popular in the uk there as well now for me if i want a winter jacket that looks absolutely crazy i'm more leaning to this first jacket that we have here it is i'm going to assume a faux fur i was gonna i don't even know how to describe the silhouette i could just say faux fur jacket i was gonna say bomber but i don't know what the silhouette of the jacket would be called now unfortunately my big ass head is blocking it but right near the top of the jacket where the zip is the zip is the what looks like palace logo done in a script as the actual zip I think that's awesome. I love the faux fur jacket. The color looks really nice. I'm hoping it releases in some other colors. They haven't released a faux fur jacket in a while. I think I actually picked up the last faux fur jacket they did, which was the uh, John and Molly mouth zip up uh, faux fur jacket. I can't remember a faux fur jacket after that one that they've released, but I could be wrong in saying that. There could have been a more recent one, but I'm really happy to see a faux fur jacket make a return. That's going to be a lot of fun. Now next, we've got what looks like a distorted plaid button-up shirt over here with a matching cap on it. Oh, sorry, I should say matching bucket hat. I actually don't mind that too much. It's not blowing me away. I'm not like, wow, that's an absolutely crazy piece. But I don't mind the design too much. It's cool. I hope it comes in other colors, more classic colors like red and black, etc., etc. But it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun and out there, you know, distorted in a different way. Normally you see plaid being like blurred to be kind of alternative, but I like this distorted look. That's really cool as well. Now, of course, moving into the knitwear of this season, we have a knitted vest with a very, I was going to say almost Jean-Paul Gaultier inspired looking shirt under there, but I could be wrong in saying that. Uh, the vest, uh, you you really got to persuade me on vests. I was, I've become comfortable with cardigans, but vests, especially knit vests like this, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's still an iffy one for me. I mean, that one kind of looks like something the granddad would wear. Maybe that's your aesthetic and your vibe, but 
I'm gonna stay away from it. <laughs> For me, I'm more interested in that palace strawberry knit over here. I like this piece, mainly because the arching palace text on the chest there looks very nice, but also the strawberries down the arm. I think it's playful, it's fun. I can see myself wearing a knit like that. Maybe I need to stop buying Undercover and uh, Chrome Hearts and Capital and stuff and start buying up more Palace this season. <laughs> I'm sure you guys would be more appreciative of, of that, but yeah, there's some really heavy hitting pieces so far. Ones that I'm quite keen on, like that knit, the, obviously the bomber jacket at the start and the uh, faux fur jacket, but those are gonna be dumb expensive. This is kind of crazy though. Next, we move into a soccer jersey featuring a very, I don't, I, I, I don't even know how to describe the graphic. I don't know the right words to choose, but uh, yeah, I think this graphic has appeared in a previous season before. I think it's appeared on some jeans, I want to say. It's definitely not the first time we've seen this graphic. I, I remember it from somewhere. Maybe it's just because I've seen the original and this is just the palace's first time mimicking it, but I know I've seen it somewhere else. Either way, it comes in a soccer jersey style. Not my kind of silhouette to rock. The graphic is a little bit too crazy on there. I think this would have looked a lot nicer on like a denim jacket. Just a different silhouette. I think a soccer jersey is a little bit odd to uh, choose that kind of graphic to go on it, but uh, maybe you guys feel differently about that one there. And we've got a uh, another recycling of another graphic there. Um, we've got right here, the full zip uh, jacket here. This palace uh, styled text here. Uh, it featured on a hoodie a couple of seasons back. I think it was a zip up hoodie as well. There was a deep history behind the graphic as well. I think from memory, oh, this is really testing my knowledge here, but from memory, this palace style that they're um, mimicking is from a brand that no longer is around anymore, but was big in the UK as just like a street style brand. I think, ah oh man, this, this is like throwing me back to when it released on the hoodie, but I remember I was discussing it with someone in the comment section below of the video when I talked about it, because I wasn't a fan of the zip up hoodie, but this person in the comment section below talked talked about it and praised it saying, oh, it references this uh, brand that's no longer around. They used to do this font style all the time. Uh, it's a throwback to that. And uh, yeah, wow, I think that's the case with this piece. I'm not really feeling this jacket. The logo doesn't um, offend me too much here. I kind of wish that the font was a little bit closer together, but it's a full zip up jacket. You can't really do too much with that unless you uh, remove the zip. Uh, next we have some color bro uh, blocking looking uh, jacket here, more like an ANRAC style one. I like the color blocking on it. I think it's cool having those black patches and then the colors separated on the zips and stuff like that. That's cool, that's well done. I don't mind the uh, red, uh, sorry, blue color blocking panels on the shoulders and on the sides there. I like it. I like how the panels and the colors break up the piece a lot. I think that's really cool. It's really well done. It makes it a little bit more interesting. It's not my silhouette, but I'd be interested to see what other colors this piece comes in. We've got a camo vest releasing this season, which is eh. We've got a patch jacket here on the left. Ooh. Damn, <laughs> we have got a huge embroidered palace goats uh, varsity jacket. Unfortunately done in what looks more like a nylon polyester material. It's not a, you know, situation where it breaks the piece for me where I wouldn't pick it up, but I like my typical like leather, uh, sorry, wool with the leather arms. That's a classic I always love, um, but yeah, that, graphic on the back of it is insane. If that is all sh uh, chenille embroidery, whoo, wouldn't mind that one. <laughs> There's a lot of good outwear so far in this season. I'm really liking the outwear. They haven't shown any tees yet or uh, any graphic tees or anything like that, but the outwear is hitting this season. And it looks like, can I just say, I just noticed this, it, re it has returned from the previous season it looks like the, uh, was it Snickers? The Snickers palace looking logo is appearing on some jeans this season. So there we go. It was on a crew neck sweater last season. I think it was last season. And now it's on a pair of jeans. So it's a reoccurring branded one. I mean, I like it. It's a really clean looking logo, but it did look like a lot like a Snickers bar last season. That's kind of cool though. That's kind of cool. Okay, look at this shirt. This is an interesting one. It's a multi-pocket shirt. A pocket here, pocket there. 
pocket here, pocket there, pocket there. I like that. I would like this as like an overshirt. Buy this large enough to wear over the top of hoodies. Buy this large enough to wear over maybe just even just some tank tops and tees, you know, basic tees. That's a nice piece. It's really focused on, you know, the silhouette and stuff like that. The color's not too crazy. I would like to see the other colors that one comes in. We've got a, a third zip or a quarter zip there in some funky colors. Yeah, that's not for me. We've got a camo jacket with a huge chest pocket there that is a quarter or third zip there. That's kind of crazy. Not for me though. I'm not a huge fan of camo. We've got the Go graphic coming back in what looks like a either a jersey or it's a short sleeve tee that's inspired by a jersey. I actually really like that. That's really nice. It kind of looks like a t-shirt based on the material, but that is really cool. I hope that comes in other, like a lot of nice other colors as well. A palace hoodie with what looks like and maybe that's 3M branding. It's definitely a different material though, because you can see it cuts off there. Looks very polar techy in a way. It's got a pocket on the left arm. It's okay. Don't know about the huge branding on the hood though. Okay, we've got the it's a basic uh or whatever this oh, I cannot remember. This came out last season, this graphic. Cannot remember it. It featured on it was a bunch of crew necks, wasn't it? Or was it tees? Oh man, I'm really struggling today. It's featuring on what looks like a work jacket this season. It's really solid though. That's really nice. I like the this color especially, and the uh, blue and pink graphic on the back looks really nice as well. I'm a fan of that jacket. I hope it comes in a couple other nice colors as well, but that is a nice color to showcase in the lookbook there. With a nice hoodie underneath as well. I like the striped hoodie. That's really nice. Yeah, what a solid bunch of photos there. Ooh, okay. Look at this. This cardigan over here, this, I mean, I'm assuming it's a zip up cardigan. It's kind of got that massive look, the massive opening around the neckline. That's cool. I like that. That is nice. Then we've got this huge ass knit over here, the P knit. That's kind of fun. I want to see what's on the back of it though. Is it like P and then this is the A and then the, uh, nah, nah, couldn't be, couldn't be. I want to see this when the range drops. I'm gonna have a look at this knit and see how it looks on the back and stuff, but I'm interested in this knit. I like the color blocking with the lettering and stuff. It looks cool, it looks cool. We've got some funky little palace lettering over here on the top of the knit as well. That's kind of fun. I'll be interested to see the other colors in it. We've got a crew neck sweater with palace peas chain stitched by the looks of it all over it. That's kind of fun. We've got just a simple little insulated uh, vest that's a solid piece, a little bit of 3M branding. I could see a lot of people getting around this. Maybe not in the safety orange color, maybe in the other colors it'll release in, but that's solid. I like that fit. That's a nice fit all around in the lookbook there. Palace London, we got what looks like a track suit or sweat suit there. That's okay with some contrasting stitching. Each to their own. That one's not going to be really appealing to me, but maybe you guys are more fans of it. Like the floral button-up t-shirt we got a couple seasons ago, we now got a strawberry version of it. I'm going to guess that there's probably strawberry graphics on the arms or somewhere else on the body, not just the collar, but we'll have to wait and see when the range drops. Ooh, we got a fleece jacket with palace written all over it, but it's like, I think it's done quite tastefully. We've got palace in like this brown and then this lighter like creamy color. That's nice. That's nice. Normally they save the fleece jackets all the way for Ultimo. So it's interesting to see it releasing in the spring though. Oh, we've got a V-neck chain knit. That is awesome. When was the last time Palace did a chain knit? I can't even remember. That's cool though. I like it. I like it's like preppy look, but then the bottom half we've just gone with like camo pants. <laughs> Some interesting styling there, but I mean, the, the knit by itself, that's a vibe. They got, man, this spring season's awesome. We've got some heavy hitting stuff so far. Wow, look at that. We've got this like insulated hoodie and uh, shorts. It kind of looks like the inner lining of those like military jackets that people, and people always wear the inner lining as like a, a vest or a jacket itself and heaps of brands release them as jackets themselves. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's kind of crazy though. As a hoodie, I kind of like the hoodie, I, the pant, the shorts. On the fence. I don't know how to feel about it. I'm on the fence about the shorts there. That's a, yeah. Yeah. We've got a Palace Visions. I'm going to assume that's a crew neck looking at it because looking at the stitching and stuff there, 
probably a crew neck i initially thought it was a knit but it looks like a crew neck i kind of like that it kind of reminds me of like an old vintage uh like sports sweater or something like a um like a team branded sweater or something with all the brands associated and stuff all over it i don't know looks kind of nice there we've got a camo jacket and matching pants here we've got a pal uh quarter zip there or it's i mean a half zip would be there so yeah probably a quarter zip or potentially third zip there i like that piece with pal written on the front the flag on the left arm the nice different colored insulated looking collar that's a cool way of handling it i haven't seen a brand do like a really insulated collar on a piece like this it's very winterized for a spring 2020 uh 2022 season you guys up in the uk get sunshine in spring <laughs> you seem to be wearing a lot of cold ass gear for the for the spring season i don't know we got uh, we got this i don't even know how to describe it chain uh, no nah, chain's not the best i don't even know how to describe it. like really punctured looking shirt kind of wacky that's interesting this is a recycled design as well uh this released oh i want to say in like a 2019 season uh back in 2019 they released it in a bunch of like toned down colors i remember this i, I remember this sweater and now this season in 2022 about three years later they're releasing it in vibrant colors it looks a lot grosser in the vibrant colors here than it did way back when they released it in like 2019 man i might go check out what the prices on the old one was looking like because <laughs> the old one looked better yeah I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to see some other colors of this uh sweater over here to get around it because the yellow and the the purple and the blue and looks like a kid's bedroom or something like that man you know a bunch of bright colors and stuff yeah it looks a little bit goofy oh Damn, the goat stuff really hitting this season. <laughs> We've got a hoodie, Alice Goats, written like a sports team with that arcing collegiate font on there. It's like, a, you know, the, the Palace Goats. It's a college, your college team. And on the back as well. And it looks like that's embroidered. I mean, I can understand Palace Goats not being embroidered. It's normally printed in that uh, font style. But that looks embroidered and it looks sick. That looks sick. I hope they don't release all the good stuff on Friday. If they release all the good stuff on Friday and I miss out, I'm going to be bummed out. <laughs> I'm going to be so bummed out. That's, I want to see the other colors in it, but this navy color, this looking really nice. We've got a button up, an all over button up tee that's all right i kind of would have liked it without the the palace branding all over the top of this little green virus looking uh graphic i feel like it would have looked nicer we've got a chains long sleeve tee as well by the looks of it and some sports shorts as well we've got a uh what was it, it looks like a dickies or carhartt jacket with the matching bottom half pants as well double uh need pants there as well the whole workwear kit it's nice. The colors are really, really nice on that. And last but not least, for the lookbook, we got a zip up hoodie with the Surf Co graphic on the back of it, which I know is featuring on a bunch of different pieces this season. I think we're getting a tee that features that on it, and we'll probably get a bunch of other stuff as well. The hoodie, I'm not a huge fan of this hoodie. I feel like I'll get around the graphic tee version of this. I feel like I'll get around that more. But there's the uh yeah the jeans making an appearance again but that is it wow okay how do i feel about it i'm a fan i am a fan of this season there is a lot of outerwear that i really really like um and just a lot of crazy little pieces that are really really cool i mean i love i love that aviation bomber jacket at the start that's crazy but it's gonna go for dumb money and it's gonna sell out but that is awesome uh, I really like the faux fur jacket with the palace uh, zip that you guys unfortunately can't see. I love the strawberry knit. Uh, what, the, the palace goats bomber ja uh, varsity jacket was sick. We've got the palace goats. Uh, I'm going to say it's a shirt still. Could be a jersey, but it looks like a shirt. I don't know. We'll have to wait till the range drops. Uh, we've got this really nice workwear jacket with this uh, basic palace uh, triferg on the back of it that released pre in the previous season. Well, this graphic did at least. Really nice cardigan here. I really like this knit. 
Uh, this crew neck was quite nice. I'm not a huge fan of the vest because I just wouldn't wear something like this, but that's a solid piece. We've got a button-up tee that's kind of cool. We've got the fleece. We've got the chain knit. There was a lot of stuff. This lookbook came in hidden. It was a very... And the body? Yeah. It was like... Every, and even this. This was a heavy hidden season. There was a lot to say in this lookbook. Palace came with the good stuff. <laughs> yeah, wow. I'm a fan. I'm keen to cover this season. I need to pick up some stuff this season. I need to pick up some Palace... But of course I want the dumb expensive stuff like this jacket. <laughs> Man, what a big season this is going to be. The spring 2022 season? It's going to hit, man. Uh, yeah, I would love to hear how you guys feel about this lookbook. What are your thoughts and opinions? Did you like any of the looks in it? Let me know down in that comment section below. Oof, even though I've got the, the window open, it's still hot in here. Oh my god. <laughs> Or maybe it was the palace season. Maybe I'm sweating at the palace season because, ooh, there was, there was some heavy hitting pieces here. I, man, I, I'm going to struggle with my top five favorite items at the end of this season. <laughs> I'm going to, yeah, I struggled with the, my top five favorite items just from the lookbook, let alone the season. We haven't even seen what collabs we're going to get, what pieces that didn't feature in the lookbook. This is a big season. I'm already liking this uh, spring 2022 season, guys. It's hitting off well for me. <laughs> but pieces. What pieces were you feeling? What was uh, really sticking out to you? There was a lot of outwear here that I was like, damn, that's kind of nice. <laughs> Do you feel the same way? Or maybe, maybe this season's a miss for you. Maybe you saw this lookbook and you got really bored. Hope not. There was like a bunch of sick pieces in it, but... Maybe you feel differently. I want to hear if you liked it or not, the lookbook specifically, or if you didn't like it or didn't like certain pieces, let me know in that comment section below, as well as if you did like some pieces. I want to hear what pieces you were really feeling. Maybe you're feeling the same ones as me. Let me know down in that comment section below. And of course, if you want me to cover this palace season, you got to give me the three indicators, which is a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below, and the best indicator that you can give me is obviously a subscribe to the channel. <laughs> We're trying to aim for the new subscriber milestone of 3,255 subscribers before the end of January. We've literally got less than 24 hours. We've got three subs. I'm thinking we'll hit this subscriber milestone in February, but if you guys can blow me away and somehow reach it before the end of January, I would be very grateful if we were able to do that. But that is everything I have to say about this lookbook. I loved it. There were a lot of pieces here that I'm really feeling. Why does 2022 feel like the year that it's just going to be broke boys because we're going to be buying all these awesome clothes? <laughs> there are some sweet pieces here. But yeah, uh, that's all I really have to say about it, guys. I will look forward to covering the drop list for week one as soon as I have that information. But until that, until the next streetwear talk video, until the next drop list video, until the next palace video, guys. I'll catch you later.